Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a survive the disasters game on Roblox. So you want to open Roblox Studio. You want to click on new. There's a new um Roblox thing. Uh anyways, you want to click on base plates. And here we are. So once you've gotten your base plates, um, there's this model that you should get in the link in the description. It's a model, it's a script model that I didn't make. I only made it because it's like one of the working disaster scripts. I'll put a link to it in the description. Again, I did not make this original disaster script. It's made by this guy right here. I just posted it because I need to go get it whenever I need it. Anyway, so yeah. Um, first you want to like build your map, I guess. I'd recommend some destructible items, but I'm not gonna. I think I guess I could add like a classic Roblox house. Classic Roblox. House. I'm just gonna add that. I think I'm actually gonna end the two story. Yeah, the two story looks pretty cool. So just add your natural disaster survival house. You might want to add some lighting to it. It's dark inside it. You just go on uh, models and search up lighting or find a YouTube video on lighting. I'm not about to do a tutorial on how to make a light. But actually, sure, I'll do it. So if you if you need a light, just insert this. Insert a point light, and boom, you go to properties. You can add the range and stuff, but we don't need that. You can add the brightness too. Anyways, back to the actual thing. So you want to find out what your disaster is going to be. Um, I'm just gonna put a drone zombie. You want to do a good a rename. You can rename it whatever you want. I really don't care. I'm just going to copy that. You might want to copy it. Then you want to put it in lighting. Now, then you open disaster script. And you copy in. And you paste it in there. Now, let's do some testing. So, if this works, he would spawn. So yeah, you see, you, you have the little thingy up there. Now I just gotta wait for him to spawn. Disaster, drooling zombie, see? And boom, there he is. It works like a dream. Now, if you want to have now we're gonna have multiple disasters. So let's say I wanted to have another disaster. That was um I'm just gonna get all my models from here. That way, yeah. I'll put this as a disaster. Mr. Krabs is gonna be my disaster. Rename it whatever I want. Let's copy it so you can do that. There. Again, I did not make this disaster script. Alright. Then all you gotta do is just go here. Do put in that. And do um that. And boom. There you go. And you just keep on doing this. Like blank. There you go. You just keep on doing stuff like that. And we'll add more disasters. But yeah, that is basically. Um, yeah. You basically get the point. Also, if you forget the tutorial, there should be a thing right here the original creator. So yeah, that is how you do it. And this can work with any object, so like, let's say I want it to be rooms. I would say I want it to be this, so you can make it like a nuke or something. 
So, wait, let's say I want to be like this. Boom. And then we go to disaster script. Go here. It has to be in lighting, though. It has to be in lighting. Or else your, your thing will not work. I'm going to go put on a nuke. Because why not? Nuke. So we're going to do a nuke now. Now, the reason I'm putting disaster script in the description is most disaster scripts you're going to find are going to be like this. But they're just going to be more like... They're going to be more... They're going to already have their own disasters with them. It's really not going to work at all. Like, they could just have the most random disasters, and you don't even know what model zones are. So, yeah, now it's testing out. Now I can be other things, too, that aren't Mr. It can be Mr. Krabs now, it could be Joint Zombie, it could be Rooms, it could even be the Nuke. So, yeah. You can also change the text that appears up here, though I want you, you could... See, drilling zombie. Look, it's not just gonna be drilling zombie though. It can be other things too. So, we're just trying to survive this disaster. This is what your game's gonna need to be like. You can also change how, with the time of how long it's gonna last and the time between each disaster and the text it says up here. So, yeah, we're just gonna determine surviving. Now, I don't know how to do the shop part. I have used disaster kits before. The leaderboard shop part was broken, so I don't know how you're going to be able to add that part. But other than that, um, you should be pretty much good to go. So, um, look, next disaster will occur in 13 minutes. It's not just going to be drilling zombie over there. Trust me. I mean, the disasters can repeat themselves. That's why I need a lot of disasters. So that, see, now it's going to be nuke. See? Boom. Now, they can be all of those things you put there. Pretty cool stuff. Now, I'm going to show you how to change the text. So, um, let's just change it to... Uh, so, if you had a killer game, the next... Killer, or whatever you want to put there. I'm just gonna put, um, yeah, I'm yeah, just gonna put that in. Disaster, and then you could, I don't know, I mean, you could edit this there. You could also change what the time is. So, if you want a constant disaster, you could set it to one. And it's, this is probably going to be absolutely warning, I'm guessing. So, yeah. You could do something crazy like that. I'd do 0 0.1 if I were you to. Boom. Yeah. Look at this green model. So you can just have this. Pretty cool game, I guess. Yeah. Alright, yeah, you guys basically get the point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this right here will be in the description. Um, remember, I did not create the script. Please like and subscribe to the video. And thank you, because we are almost to 100 subscribers. That's a lot of subscribers. Anyways, I don't, I don't know if I made a proof sheet. You can test if you want. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.